Drachmaninoff. So, uh, music bonuses shortly. Another starter question in the meantime. Ten points for this. Isothermal expansion, adiabatic expansion, isothermal compression and adiabatic compression are the four stages in the cycle of changes in the physical condition of a gas in a reversible heat engine. Which French engineer's name is given? Warwick Wheatley. Carnot. Carnot is correct, yes. Now, you'll recall we heard one of Rachmaninoff's uh, waltzes. For your music bonuses, three more examples of dance forms in classical music. All of them, like the waltz, are triple-time dances. In each case, for five points, I want the name of the dance that gives the piece its form and its title. Polka? No, that's a fandango. Secondly, this dance of Eastern European origin. Um, try polka again. No, that's Mussorgsky's Polonaise. And finally, this dance of French origin. Um, Gavotte? No, that's the minuet from Handel's Water Music. Mm. Ten points for this. Which three consecutive letters of the alphabet begin the names of the largest state of Peninsula Malaysia, the largest province of Canada, and the largest state of India? Warwick Wheatley. K-L-M. No, Aberdeen. Aberdeen King. M-N-O. No, it's P-Q-R, Pahang, Quebec, and Rajasthan. Ten points for this. What part of the body appears in nicknames given to peace Democrats in the North during the American Civil War and supporters of Parliament during the English Civil War? Warwick Wheatley. Head. Head is correct. Copperhead and roundhead. <laughs> right, your bonuses this time, Warwick, are on a 19th century biography. I will publish what I know of her and make the world honour the woman as much as they have admired the writer. These words of Elizabeth Gaskell refer to which novelist? Charlotte Bronte. Charlotte Bronte. Correct. How dreary it is for women to sit still on winter nights by solitary fires. Mrs Gaskell's preface to her biography of Charlotte Bronte includes those lines from Aurora Lee, which was written by which 19th century poet? Keats? Might be him. I haven't any better ideas. Keats? No, that was by Elizabeth Barrett Browning. And finally, which novel of 1847 by one of Charlotte's siblings did Mrs Gaskell describe as having revolted many readers by the power with which wicked and exceptional characters are depicted? Is it the novel or the novelist? Come on, let's have it. Jane Eyre? No, it's Wuthering Heights. Ten points for this. For what do the letters CWG stand in the name of the Intergovernmental Commission established in 1917? It adopted its present name in 1960, and its installations are widespread over Belgium and northern France. Warwick Shaw. Commonwealth War Graves? Correct. Right, Warwick, your bonuses are on English or British monarchs. In each case, identify the monarch from the description. Firstly, he became heir to the throne after the death of his mother, and less than three months later, he succeeded a monarch who, like himself, was a great-grandchild of James the First and Sixth. He succeeded his... After the death of his mother. It's not a child. Not a child. Oh, I am. So, George the... Let's have it, please. No, no, it's not finished. That's wrong. Um, so Charles II. Uh, Charles II. No, it was George I. He seized the throne from his distant cousin and was briefly succeeded by his son and then by his brother, who was killed in battle in 1485. Uh, that was Edward IV. Edward IV? Yeah. Edward IV? It was, yes. He succeeded his brother and was himself succeeded by his niece, 
after neither he nor his predecessor had managed to father a surviving legitimate child. William the Fourth? William the Fourth is right, yes. Ten points for this. Answer as soon as you buzz. If a rope encircles the earth at a height of one metre above the ground and is then pulled tight, how much slack will be left over? Aberdeen Collier. 100 metres. Anyone want to buzz from Warwick? Warwick Padel. 10,000 metres. No, it's two pi metres. Ten points for this. What type of wheat with a high protein content produces a harder flour than that produced by other varieties? Aberdeen King. Durham. Durham is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses this time, Aberdeen, are on fine art. A year after the title subject's death in 1863, Henri Fantin Latour painted a group portrait as a homage to which fellow French painter? No, David? David? No, it's Eugene Delacroix. In 1949, the German-American painter Josef Albers began a series of paintings in homage to which form? Still life? No, it's the square. And finally, Barbara Hepworth's 1966 sculptural homage to Pete Mondrian is displayed in the grounds of which English cathedral? It's, uh, you know, squares and whatnot, and shapes like that. So, Lincoln. No, it's Winchester. Right, time for another picture round. Your picture starter is a photograph of a European city. To get 10 points, you just have to name it. Warwick Shaw. Bruges. Bruges is correct, yes. 2012 sees the 40th anniversary of the adoption by UNESCO of the Convention to Establish World Heritage Sites, of which Bruges is one. For your bonuses, you're going to see three more. In each case, name the site and the country in which it's located. Firstly, for five. Um, that's, Iron, that's Ironbridge in, um, in, okay. in UK. Um, Ironbridge in the UK? That's correct. Ironbridge Gorge in England, yes. Secondly... Um, is that Karnak in Egypt? Karnak? Karnak? It's not Egypt. It looks Egyptian to me. I think... I think... It looks Persian. Let's have it, please. Karnak in Egypt. No, that's Persepolis in Iran. And finally... Oh, no, it's St. Helena. Why would that... Looks like Napoleon. I don't know. St. Helena. Let's have it, please. Um, any ideas? No. Uh, St. Helena, UK. No, it's Robin Island in South Africa. <laughs> Ten points for this. The traditional terminology of which sport, when translated into French, includes Le Guardian de Guichet and the abbreviation J. Aberdeen King. Hockey? No. Uh, five points penalty. And the abbreviation JDG, representing Jean Devant Guichet. Warwick Wheatley. Football? No, it's cricket. It's wicketkeeper and leg before wicket. Ten points for this. In the titles of novels, what is unqualified by John Banville, repeated by Iris Murdoch, and described as cruel by Nicholas Montserrat and wine... Warwick Shaw. The sea? The sea is right, yes. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on biochemistry. In the Krebs cycle, Warwick, which carboxylic acid accepts an acetyl group from acetyl coenzyme A to form citrate. Um, citric acid. Citric acid. Citric acid. Uh, no, it's oxaloacetic acid. Assuming none of the intermediate compounds are used in biosynthesis, how many molecules of carbon dioxide are generated in each round of the Krebs cycle? Six. Six. Six? No, it's two. Where does the Krebs cycle occur in prokaryotic cells? Come on. <laughs> mitochondria. No, it's cytoplasm. Ten points for this. London, Lorentz, centripetal, osmotic, electrostatic, van der Waals, drag, weight and friction. Warwick Force. Wheatley. Force. Force is correct, yes. 
Your bonuses this time, Warwick, are on a U.S. president. In September 1974, which U.S. president granted Richard Nixon a full and unconditional pardon just before he could be indicted? Gerald Ford. Correct. Pardoned by President Ford in 1977, Eva Toguri Dakino had been convicted of treason for broadcasting Japanese propaganda during World War II. By what two-word term were she and similar broadcasters better known? Tokyo Rose? Correct. Which Confederate commander in the Civil War signed an amnesty oath in 1865, but did not have his citizenship restored until 1975 by President Ford? A general of the South. Is yeah. what they say. Um, no, that's in the Okay. Yeah, Robert E. Lee. Robert E. Lee? Correct. Three minutes ago, ten points for this. Substituting the final letter changes the French word for Monday to the name of which rocky island in the Bristol... Aberdeen Ainge. Lundy. Lundy is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses this time, Aberdeen, are on the genus Homo. Which Indonesian island appears in the binomial of a possible species of genus Homo, whose skeletal remains were discovered in 2004? Flores. Flores. Correct. The binomial of which extinct hominidae species translates as handyman? Habilis. Uh, defer, McMahon. Homo habilis. Homo habilis is correct. Which hominidae species is named after a German valley where remains were found in a cave in 1856? Neanderthal. Neanderthal is correct. Ten points for this. The word terrapins is an anagram of which verb used in botany to denote the passage of water out of the stomata of a leaf? Aberdeen Ainge. Transpiration. No, anyone like to buzz from Warwick? Warwick Shaw. Transpire. Transpire is the uh, anagram, yes. Right, your bonuses this time, Warwick, are on physics. What term is used for the inverse of resistance and is a measure of how easily electricity flows in a material? Conductivity. Come on. Conductivity? No, it's conductance. After a German industrialist, what is the SI unit of conductance? No, that's resistance. Let's have it. Krupp. German industrialist. Krupp. No, Siemens. And what is the other common unit of conductance being the SI unit of resistance spelled in reverse? Um, it's, 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 um, reverse. Uh, Mo. Yeah. Mo. The Mo is correct. Ten points for this. David Cameron became Prime Minister in May 2010. Who was the UK Prime Minister when Cameron was born? Warwick Wheatley. Margaret Thatcher. Mm. <laughs> no. Aberdeen. One of you does. Aberdeen Collier. Heath. No, it's Harold Wilson. Ten points for this. Described as Queen of the West in a poem of 1854 by Longfellow, what is the third largest city in Ohio after Columbus and Cleveland? Uh, Aberdeen King. Cincinnati. Cincinnati is correct. Your bonuses this time are on Russia. Named after a Siberian city, the mining and smelting company Norilsk Nickel is the world's biggest producer of nickel and which other metal? A key component in catalytic converters. I think platinum. Oh, no. uh, yeah, platinum. Platinum. No, it's Palladium. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, Solovetsky Monastery, is located on an island in which inlet of the Barents Sea? The White Sea. The White Sea is correct. Which public figure served as governor of the remote Arctic region of Chukotka from 2000 to 2008? No. No. It was Roman Abramovich, but you were too late to get the points if you knew it. At the Gong, Aberdeen have 100 and Warwick have 175. Well, I'm afraid we're going to have to say goodbye to you, Aberdeen, but, you know, you got 100. That's perfectly respectable. Uh, congratulations to you, Warwick. We should look forward to seeing you in round two. Well, I hope you can join us next time for the first of the playoffs between the four highest-scoring losing teams who we now know are Lincoln College, Oxford, King's College, Cambridge, Homerton College, Cambridge and Lancaster University. But until then, it's goodbye from Aberdeen University. Goodbye. Goodbye. It's goodbye from Warwick University. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>